Tucked away in the flattened land between northern West Virginia and southern Ohio lies the quiet town of Point Pleasant, West Virginia. However, this town wasn't always so quiet. A life-changing event was about to happen that would alter the small town's history forever. There's a lot of believers here, and there's a lot of non-believers as well. So some people said they actually saw him and he looked in the cards. I tend to be a believer that there was something definitely going on. I believe there was something, yes. On December 15, 1967, the silver bridge that connected Gallup Police, Ohio to Point Pleasant, West Virginia tragically collapsed, sending over 70 vehicles directly into the Ohio River. 46 people were killed and two of the bodies were never recovered. The documented reason for the collapse stated it was due to a suspension chain problem. However, many Ohio and West Virginia locals, as well as cryptid enthusiasts all around the world, believe something more supernatural and sinister was behind this tragedy. I would say there were a lot of sightings um, around the time that the bridge fell. There were a lot of other strange things, the UFO sightings, the men in black. Mm -hmm. Just north of Point Pleasant sits 8,000 acres of mystery. This area, dubbed the TNT area, happens to be the birthplace of the Mothman myth. During World War II, the area was used to store ammunition and explosives. Igloo-like structures were constructed to house the dangerous equipment. West Virginia lore has it that the dangerous and hazardous chemicals from the project were responsible for the birth of the Mothman. The TNT area was also the first place Mothman was ever spotted. In the early 1960s, a young couple claimed to have seen a large, winged man with glowing red eyes fly by them. This would mark the beginning of endless stories about the moth, the myth, the legend. You know, there was a lot of teenagers that saw him supposedly in the TNT area. One time I had a, a group from Japan, and we were up in the TNT area, and the, that area is full of igloos. And this particular igloo was open, the door was open, and there was no light in it or anything, and it's a round igloo. So the Japanese, about a half a dozen of them, wanted to go inside, and I said, well, you can go inside because there's no light, you don't trip or anything. And the, so they all went in, and all at once, there was a half a dozen big turkeys in there, and the turkeys started screaming, and the people started screaming, and it took me about a half hour to get them all back together. They, were, they ran every place. I'll never forget that. Not only has the Mothman completely changed history, but he has also brought a new economy to the once quiet town of Point Pleasant. The tourism community took the lure and turned it into something festive that visitors from all over the world can participate in. From cookies to pizza, the Mothman merriment brought Point Pleasant back to life. It's just something that um, our little town now, the kids around here have grown up with him. They don't know anything but the Mothman. Uh, ever since we uh, brought the statue in, uh, our town has completely changed. This little town, um, 17 years ago, it was empty, basically. And now we keep all the buildings filled and all that's ready is filled. And we have traffic every day from all over the world, actually. Even though it has been over 50 years since Mothman first appeared, his legacy is still growing today. People can learn more about the Lord by planning their own visit to Point Pleasant.